and just taking the time to focus more on my family, to appreciate the small things, um, to be thankful, to give back to others um, in terms of sharing the experience that I've had with my disease and letting people know that there's positive, um, there's positive experiences with cancer and, and hoping that that's a sign of hope um, for others. You want to have hope that um, that you're going to overcome the problem and uh, you're going to pull through. So uh, that's what finally uh, matters is that you don't lose uh, your hope. If you want to feel sorry for yourself initially, that's the brace of the game. Everybody's going to say, why me? You know, why did it happen to me? And then once you accept it and you start working at it, there's a good opportunity you're going to make it through. The positive experiences I have are, are daily, actually, when I get to speak with other melanoma patients and make them feel better. I think the um, diagnosis had a positive impact on my family. Uh, it for sure brought us closer together. I think sometimes life gets very fast-paced and uh, you forget to take a step back and kind of appreciate all of the great things that are going on, the small things. And for us, I think it's a constant reminder that take a step back, whether it's the smallest or just a milestone in life, and really take the time to appreciate. I think I'm a survivor because I decided to fight and fight hard and take advantage of every possible therapy that was out there. I'm also a survivor because I had a tremendous amount of support from my family and my friends. In surviving means that you are willing to use your life a little bit more as a gift. That what all the days ahead of you should be filled a little bit more with no, pleasure. Pleasure in work, pleasure in hedonism, pleasure in things that gives your life meaning. I've been through the survivor part of having my life threatened and I think you know that's that's the biggest part to get through. I think these the procedures and the illness and all that it eventually passes but the whole realization that we're mortal and that you know our time is short and we're on this earth for a short time is um, is the really big deal a survivor gets through and hopefully it enriches, enriches their life. Survivor means that I, I fought the battle, I did what I was supposed to do with uh, everything that I had to work with, what I was told to do, what I have to do in the future. Uh, surviving, being able to go back to do the things that I love so much. Physically I do certainly have some um, scars that are visible and um, my, my area happened to be on the heel, so it's very visible to the public in the summertime when I'm wearing sandals and such. But um, to me, it, it's not an embarrassing scar or something that I'm ashamed of. It's something that I'm actually very proud of because I feel like I've had a very significant life event happen to me um, and that I may get a lot of questions about it or a lot of stares, but it's something that I think um, it makes me feel very proud and it's almost as if I'm wearing a badge of honor. I can go back to, to being a normal person and um, go back to do whatever uh, I decide to do and, uh, and um, not think too much of uh, having survived uh, melanoma. So uh, I guess uh, you know you're back to normal when, uh, when sometimes you forget. The word survivor to me it means everything. I'm very close. Very close to my dad. And you cannot believe what he's gone through. I'm so proud. Just be strong, give it your all. Confidence in yourself. Draw on support from those that you love and those that you're close to. And, you know, Survivor is a different definition to everybody, but knowing that you gave it all you've got, it's the best you can do. Uh, my advice for others is to, um, as best as you can, remain strong, remain very important to remain positive. Um, I think sometimes that people get very consumed and, and focus very negatively on the disease, but I think it's truly important to, to be positive, to surround yourself with positive things, 
to search out those positive stories so that it's something that you can focus on and um, really just an inspiration of hope for you. My advice to other people um, would be to um, um, not panic. Take uh, That's easier said than done. Uh, but uh, basically take uh, one step at a time. Uh, find the right uh, doctor for you. Um, if you've just been diagnosed, I would say, you know, the, the first thing you have to do is, is take a lot of deep breaths and um, try to relax. In terms of what advice I might give to others who have melanoma, the first thing is that you should decide to fight it. Uh, the second thing is that you shouldn't let yourself get either too high or too low. It's a process that may have some ups and downs. Have a good rapport with your doctor. Uh, listen to what they say and uh, have a good network to uh, talk with. Uh, you, can, you can find a lot of um, helpful groups. Remain strong. Um, become an advocate. Learn as much as you can about the disease. Share your knowledge with others. Um, have an you know, open, honest relationship, not only with your doctor, with your loved ones, with your family. Truth, knowing all you can about it is very, very important. Um, the emotional battle is just as important. Believe in yourself as it's a large part of the battle. And um, I'm sitting here with my father today. For me, the positive um, aspect of the melanoma diagnosis was that um, it caused me to kind of slow down my pace in life and to really take time to smell the roses, to appreciate the things that I have in life, the people and family that surround me.